Hi everyone, this is Watson. Today we're going to learn how to extend our home-based wireless signal far away outdoor. So if we want to extend the wireless signal, we're going to need to use a wireless access point, one like this. And if we want to ex extend it outdoor farther away, we're going to imagine it's going to be over 100 meters. Over 100 meters meaning we need to use a PoE extender. And then outdoor meaning the best case for us is to use an outdoor device which means our regular wireless access point will be easily damaged. Instead, we're going to use an outdoor waterproof wireless access point. So why do we need a PoE extender? Because if we want to extend it, the best method for us to use is to use a PoE technology. It transmits power and data with one Ethernet cable, so it would save us the power cord for the wireless access point. And since it's going to be outdoor, it's going to be much more safer because if we need to get an electric outlet outdoor, it's going to, cause, it's going to be high risk because sometimes water might drain, get into it and uh, shortcut, short range the whole ne electric network. Okay, so if we have a regular router and we want to extend the network out there, uh, we know that routers are usually non-PoE devices, so if we want to power that up with PoE, we're going to need to upgrade this network first. So we're going to use this PoE injector. For those who are not familiar with this, a PoE injector injects the power to our Ethernet cables so it can transmit PoE signals. And the data will come from our network or an, another PoE device. So it will receive uh, data from the LAN port and then add power on it and then it will transmit PoE signals through the PoE port. So first, it's going to connect this to the power. Once it's connected to the power, we're going to use the Ethernet cable that's connected to our main network right here. It goes to the LAN port. So then this is PoE ready. And if we want to extend it further than 100 meters, we're going to totally need a 100 a PoE extender because over 100 meters, the PoE signal gets weak and we, it's not enough to, for the ending device. The terminal device will not receive power and data enough to power it up make it work properly. So a PoE extender right here will receive the PoE extender at the PoE input port and then repeat it for another 100 meters at these two output ports. Either one is okay. So we are going to use an Ethernet cable and connect one end to the PoE injector which will be ready of PoE signals both power and data and the other end to our PoE extender's input port. So once the PoE is in you can see the indicator on the injector is on, meaning there is power and data, and also the ind indicator on the PoE extender is on as well, meaning there is PoE signals transmitted in. And right after that, we're going to use one end here, and then the other on the PoE wireless access point. We're going to use this one to let you guys see that it connects properly. So you can see that it has every indicator on here, meaning there's power and data flowing through this whole network system right now, meaning this connection is very thorough. So basically the outdoor wireless access point is just this whole component integrated inside here. So we don't have to open it and uh, hardware everything. So I'm just going to use this to simulate this. All right, so this is when we have a non-PoE network based in our home, like a router. And what if you have like a PoE switch? Well, that'd be much more easier because with a PoE switch, we don't need the PoE injector anymore. We can say goodbye to this, and then all we need is a small PoE switch. We connect the power to it. So we connect power to it, and then the data will go to the uplink port because the uplink port usually connects to our main network or like a network video recorder, and then this whole system will be thorough again. So this PoE, PoE switch is a power sourcing equipment that provides power and data. And then you can see that the PoE extender has received the PoE signal and, and extended it and towards our PoE wireless access point. So everything will be totally ready for us. And next step would just be for us to connect our network through this wireless access point with our mobile device. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.